This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. Today we're welcoming back our good friend Charles McElwee, who is a member of the Board of Directors for the Greater Hazelton Historical Society and Museum, and has a wealth of knowledge about the history of our area. And this latest segment, you want to talk about the building that is really adjacent to where we are here in downtown Hazelton, the Hazelton National Bank Building. Dear to my heart, I used to work there, WAZL, up on the top floor up there. Right, so SSPTV is located next door to one of the most historic buildings in downtown Hazleton, which is actually undergoing major renovations right now. So yet again, investment in the downtown and the commitment to the downtown through the preservation of historic structure as well as the modernization of that structure. So H&B goes back to 1890. It was formed by Augustus Van Wickel, who was the son-in-law of Ariel Pardee, Hazleton's founding father, and they initially located their operations at the corner of Broad and Wyoming. When the deposits grew and the customer base uh, swelled, they decided that another lo location was necessary. And the moment was serendipitous because where we're seated right now was known as Pardee Square. So Ariel Pardee's home was located on this block, a wooded block, and voters in Hazleton overwhelmingly supported in 1923 to demolish the home and property for commercial development. So one of the first buildings to be constructed was the Hazleton National Bank building, and that was completed in 1924. Eight stories plus a penthouse, a beautiful banking room, very modern. One of its unique features is the president's office is located on the banking floor and very accessible to the public, as well as a beautiful mezzanine level. So a very historic structure built by Thomas Martin and Kirkpatrick, a Philadelphia architectural firm, they were actually trained in Paris to design buildings like the one we see with H&B. It's an example of Beaux-Arts architecture. So uh, you, when you see those limestone columns, the brick, that, that symmetrical facade, you're really seeing uh, a, a very popular style in the late 19th century, early 20th century that was really popularized in uh, Paris. So I guess you're very excited to see this become a reality now with preserving that and not having a date with the wrecking ball or anything like that. I'm glad to see that, you know, working there as at WAZL at the time, I loved that building. I loved going in there. I loved the feel of that building. Right. When you, when you enter and you see those beautiful uh, grand doors that open into the banking room, the beautiful lobby, the, the, uh, the two elevators that take you to the, the top floors, WAZL, as you mentioned, they operated first out of the H&B building in the 1930s up until 1994. And it, it has a pretty uh, solid occupancy rate. Um, it, it continues to be a, an excellent presence in the downtown in terms of office space. And uh, it's very exciting not only to just see this investment in the downtown, but it's great for organizations like the Downtown Hazelson and Alliance for Progress, which are working hard to promote downtown and 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 incentivize people to see what the opportunities that can be found here in Hazleton. Alrighty, another gem in our area being preserved, so we can't wait to see what that looks like once the renovations are complete.